Well, Derek, a 1-0 defeat at Bolton Wanderers tonight. Your thoughts overall? Yeah, I thought it was a very good performance from us tonight. It was probably one of our best performances coming here. Uh, I think that um, the way we passed the ball, we retained possession. And, uh, you know, the chances that uh, we did have in the game, uh, we were unfortunate not to have, you know, come away with uh, a, a draw and uh, maybe uh, even a win. But, uh, you know, tonight they've had an opportunity in the 18-yard box in the first half and, and been able to scramble a goal in. There wasn't many chances in the game, was there? And uh, it was probably a bad time for them to score for you, just six minutes to the break. Yeah, I mean, we had um, we got in good areas in that first half and probably around the halfway line, we gave a couple of balls away where we could have broke the line. We could have got ourselves into uh, a better position higher up the pitch and uh, we'd have opened up Bolton. But, uh, you know, I think that we looked, you know, very organised. Uh, tactically, we were very good because, you know, Bolton have beaten Wickham Wanderers here 3-0 uh, in the past, but they didn't have many opportunities to score tonight. And uh, we were unlucky with Ryan Daly and his header just into the second half that went, uh, you know, past the upright. And uh, I think maybe... Uh, Rawson had another opportunity from a header as well. Looking at your defence overall, again it looks really, really solid compared to last year. Yeah, we have to be. You know, this is a difficult league to play in, and uh, you know, for us at this moment in time, uh, just in that forward areas, we're maybe not getting the right pass uh, at the right time. Um, we're giving the ball away when we really shouldn't. But uh, we've got to remember, you know, we're only a new team. We're four games into the season. Um, we've shown how well we can play against the top teams in this league. You know, we've had to go away to difficult places like Peterborough and Bolton tonight, and uh, you know we have shown up well. Yeah, just that final third, it just a bit lacking at times. Yeah, I mean that's always going to be the case. If you look at you know the, the options that they have, you know the, the amount of money that they've been able to to generate because of the crowds that they have here, it, it, it's only natural that um, you know they're going to have you know a bigger squad. And you know tonight we've lost Max Melbourne it looks like you know he's picked up a, a serious injury so we're going to miss him you know we've got Courtney Duffus out with a long-term injury from last season when he was on loan at Stockport so that's going to you know make us you know weaker uh, uh, as a squad. I did see Max go down it looked particularly painful was it his hamstring? We're not sure yet but um, you know he was uh, taken away in a stretcher we're going to assess you know what the issue is but you know I thought my players tonight you know really worked hard we were the team in that last 15 to 20 minutes going for the win you know Bolton were hanging on uh, at the end the ball boys were taking their time uh, in the stands to get the ball back the goalkeeper was so it's just natural that uh, you know when you have that um, amount of pressure on a team coming away from home you are disappointed that you haven't been able to get a goal. Again I have to ask you no call Stockton is, is he still officially ill? He is yes. Any chance of movement for Saturday that he might be back, hopefully? <laughs> We're unsure yet, but uh, you know the physiotherapist and the, uh, will keep me informed. John O'Beaker starting up front again. It must be hard for him to come into it. He's not played that much football and it needs a lot of work for a man in his position in, in the way your teams play. Yeah, I mean, I think it's difficult because, um, you know, when we, you know, tonight we're playing with, you know, three up front and uh, he is played his first 90 minutes on, on Saturday he's had to play 70 minutes tonight it's, that's not easy and uh, you know just because the squad that we have is very tight um, at this moment in time we obviously can't do any business uh, until uh, players go out but uh, you know I thought he worked very hard today along with you know Ash Hunter uh, Arthur behind him and they obviously the midfield had to work hard because Bolton you know do move the ball well and finally, Jacob Bedow made his second debut for you. Uh, how do you think he did tonight? Yeah, I, th I thought that, you know, I, I was really pleased with everyone in the team tonight. I think that, you know, the back line uh, kept Bolton very quiet. Um, they didn't uh, concede many opportunities to them uh, throughout the 90 minutes. And, uh, you know, that was really pleasing. <laughs>